Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will talk about polyarthritis nodosa, its clinical features, investigations and treatment. As you all know, vasculitis is characterized by inflammation and necrosis of blood vessel walls with associated damage to skin, kidney, lungs, heart, brain and gastrointestinal tract. And systemic vasculitis should be considered in any patient with fever, weight loss, fatigue, evidence of multi-system involvement, rashes, raised inflammatory markers and abnormal urinalysis. Coming on to polyarthritis nodosa itself. Polyarthritis nodosa is a necrotizing vasculitis that causes aneurysms and thrombosis in medium-sized arteries, leading to infarction in affected organs with severe systemic symptoms. Hepatitis B infection is an important risk factor, so all patients with polyarthritis nodosa shall be tested for hepatitis B. Male to female ratio is 2 ratio 1. Polyarthritis nodosa has a peak incidence between the ages of 40 and 50 years. Pathological changes comprise of necrotizing inflammation and vessel occlusion. Note that granulomatous inflammation does not occur in polyarthritis nodosa and its presence suggests other diagnoses. Coming on to clinical features, like any other vasculitis, the clinical features result from a combination of local tissue ischemia due to vessel inflammation and narrowing and the systemic effects of widespread inflammation. Systemic features include fever, myalgia, arthralgia and weight loss in combination with manifestations of multisystem disease. The skin involvement is common. The most common skin lesions are palpable purpura, punched out ulceration, nodules, infarction and levido reticularis. Renal involvement is the main cause of death. Severe hypertension and or renal impairment may occur due to renal artery narrowing leading to multiple renal infarctions. However, in contrast to microscopic polyngitis, glomerulonephritis is rare in polyarthritis nodosa. In 70% of patients, arthritis of the vessa nervosum leads to neuropathy which is typically symmetrical and affects both sensory and motor functions. Besides these, polyarthritis nodosa can also present with features of cardiac, GI, and genitourinary system involvement. Polyarthritis nodosa usually spares lungs. Coming on to investigations, the diagnosis is confirmed by conventional or magnetic resonance angiography, which shows multiple aneurysms and smooth narrowing of mesenteric, hepatic, or renal systems or it can be confirmed by biopsy of affected organ or renal biopsy, which reveals the necrotizing inflammation of medium-sized arteries and vessel occlusion. CBC will reveal anemia and often increased white cell count. Mild eosinophilia will be noted in 30% of cases. ESR and C-reactive proteins are raised. Anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies are negative. As already mentioned in the start, since the disease is associated with hepatitis B, therefore all patients shall be tested for this infection. Now the treatment. Control of blood pressure is very very important. Steroids are used in low dose for milder cases. Management of organ threatening or acute severe disease is with high dose glucocorticoids and intravenous cyclophosphamide followed by maintenance therapy with lower dose glucocorticoids and azathioprine, methotrexate or mycophenolate mofetin. Hepatitis B should be treated after the initial treatment with steroids. And this is all. I hope you liked this video. If so, please share with your colleagues and subscribe to this channel.